Hey guys, um, Mal here. Figured I'd give you a quick video update with the latest setup on the system. Um, it's extremely efficient now, almost to the point of insane levels. So that is our power consumption, and there's two modes to run the device. So we have this mode, where it's consuming less than 10 milliamps and yet we still have wireless power and the way this was achieved is I kind of added this resonant choke coil connected in series with the negative input and I also added these uh, rods here taped together a stack of four it's a stack of uh, four rods and as you'll see since I removed it the system is going to become out of tune very soon and if I move the magnet the magnet tunes it and the rods tune it so if I also move the magnet my ceramic magnet I'll start I consume a lot more power so as you see we are consuming we are consuming 150 milliamps now on the circuit and we still have wireless power and I noticed you can get this to consume almost no power oh and it's uh, zapping a little bit so see how I put the magnet back in the same spot we're still consuming 150 milliamps I don't know why it's having trouble focusing I think I'll turn my light on alright so um now I'll, I will add the resonant rods to help the tuning and again this is just a choke coil connected in series with the negative DC input to the super jewel ringer system so I add the negative the uh, the rods into the center of the choke coil to tune it and now we are consuming virtually no power I think that's less than 10 milliamps and we can tune it further by sliding the ceramic magnet and adjusting it and yet we still have wireless power um the light on my phone is kind of screwing with the light you can see here but um just wanted you to see that hopefully I'll get this in range more and yeah so now what I will show is how I will just bring a coil nearby and it will light up so this is just a resident receiver coil this is an earth ground connection oh and it's important to note I earth grounded the hot side the hot leg the circuit is open now instead of having the high frequency output of the ringer go into a uh, resistance network like I was doing before um, it now is just open circuit connected to the earth so this green connection is the earth connection and as you see this is connected to my heater here this is just earth connection to my heater and without that earth connection the wireless power is a lot worse um, I'm gonna shut the light off and show that the light on my phone so as you see there's virtu we have virtually no power input but the wireless power sucks I add the earth connection and the wireless power comes back at very phenomenal levels but yet we're not consuming any more power so I think this might be the way forward with the system because we're consuming virtually no power and if I can create now the correct power tap at a distance we should be in business so I will run a light from this wireless resonant receiver coil and my earth connection this is just the earth connection to my power supply that is switched off just an earth connection and as you see this lights up very bright and there is no input drain on our transmitter circuitry and I can also put a full bridge rectifier here and you can collect more power by adding distant receiver coils and connecting them in parallel so that is lit no input drain on our source hopefully I can capture that properly 
we tuned the system with two methods. Um, the ceramic magnet that we can slide across the device and the uh, four six inch long met glass laced ferrite rods that are taped together that sit in the center of the uh, coils here that sits in the center of the choke coil for tuning these two in tandem provide pretty good tuning so virtually no power input even that light is dimly lit down there hopefully you can see that it's just amazing we have virtually no power input and yet the wireless power output is phenomenal just from earth grounding it here um, that meter that current meter is connected in series with our with our negative DC input and again which passes in series with the choke coil because we're choking the power back not using any resistors because we don't want to waste power in the form of heat um, the only thing different with this system is we left it open circuit we didn't send the power into a resistor network to create wasteful heat we instead earth grounded it to create a system that virtually consumes no power yet has a wireless power output and if I move this wireless coil as you see I can tune it and get it brighter if I were to move this coil closer it would get much brighter like if I move this to the battery because the battery is what's powering the circuit at virtually no input we're just using the potential from the battery um doesn't really cause an input drain if you get it like right up there almost touching the battery it will cause an input drain but if you keep it just a little bit back it won't and I'll add another coil and I'll connect it and the light will get very bright so this is me connecting another resident coil in parallel and the light will get brighter because we have more surface area hopefully you see that but our light got brighter um, light got brighter so we have more surface area still consuming virtually no power Yeah, we're consuming virtually no power. We still have wireless power. Phenomenal. And if anyone doubts that it's from the system, you can take a look around under the desk. There's a um, bit of a messy workbench. So, always building stuff, keeping busy. I disconnect the system, it'll go out. So, again, virtually no input, put it back. Sometimes it's tricky to get oscillating. Just touching this gets it going. Um, so yeah, basically that's the video update I wanted to show. A system that gives off wireless power at virtually no input. I mean, that's that's got to be the most efficient so far. Like I've never seen anything like that. Um, doing this causes an input drain, but bringing wireless coils near it does not cause an input drain. Um, this gets brighter because I'm cre increasing the surface area. So again, if I add a third coil, even at a distance, it'll still get brighter. Because it's some type of weird um, effect occurring. So now I will connect another coil, and it's at some distance from the device and it still gets brighter I can get this I got extremely bright I'm trying to get it right hopefully you can see that virtually no input less than 10 milliamps and very bright output in addition to wireless output oh I connected that wrong that's not supposed to be there that's supposed to be on the wireless coil that would actually detune things I put this up here 
Yeah, that's even brighter now. So that's even brighter. That wireless light. Virtually no input because we tuned it with the magnet and the rod. That's just insane. And um, we still have wireless power. Phenomenal wireless power. Even to the point where you hold it on things and it gets bright, it's almost kind of weird. That gets brighter too, so. If you have any ideas how to perfect this even further, let me know because I think this might be the path forward where the system consumes virtually no power but yet has a wireless power output and all we did was we earth ground the hot side of the coil of the super jewel ringer circuit we earth grounded the hot side instead of sending it into a resistant network and um, this little extra resonant coil that sits atop here if I connect this, this can run loads too, so I'll demonstrate that. It can um, run motors, it can run incandescent lights, but this isn't that magical. What, what I just showed you was the magical effects. So hopefully this will light. I might have to do some tuning by moving the magnet. and I have to not send the power through the choke coil then it will work there we go so I'm not sending the power through the choke coil um, I'm tuning it with the magnet by sliding it we have power output but there's no there's no over unity here and this this isn't the magic what I just showed you earlier was the magic um, and it can run LEDs very bright so that's an incandescent zoom in on that and uh, my phone is acting glitchy just being near this thing So incandescent being run off the resonant coil LED now being run blinding bright Jesus power consumption went way up to over 500 milliamps like I said nothing special with that output but there is still power present there um, it can turn a motor because that coil is wound per Tesla patent 336961 I can connect a uh, motor just get these guys out of the way connect this up Just to show you what that little coil is capable of doing. So, launch spins up a motor, no problem. 450 milliamp power consumption from that coil running a motor. And that light is still lit from the three wireless receiver coils in parallel running the light through the earth connection. Um, I gotta disconnect this thing now back to what it was doing before all right so move you back to here set it back to the magical mode it was in which is the very interesting mode slide the magnet back to where it was the unit is also silent during operation you can see our power consumption quite high while we're tuning it disconnect now connect through the choke again activate it by just a touch and there we go so virtually no power consumption and yet we still have a very strong wireless light So if anyone knows how to perfect this effect, please let me know, because I think this is the way forward. And thank you, everyone. Figured I'd get this quick video out there. Give you a bit of a backup view of it.
and it will also light up an LED here, this bigger LED. So it's also lighting up a bigger LED at no input cost to us at all. So I figure I'd demonstrate that. And it's so efficient I have to trick it into oscillating just by touching it and then removing my finger. So very interesting. And thank you.